the new ultra affordable MetaQuest 3S headset has been announced and perhaps you are wondering whether you should buy the Quest 3, the Quest 3S, the Pico 4 Ultra or whether you should keep your Quest 2. So in this video I will help you make a decision. If you haven't seen my first impressions video of the MetaQuest 3S yet, you will find it in the info cards now. My name is Thomas and you're watching Voodoo DVR. Thank you to my sponsors Voodcoast VR, Opperman Events, which is Cap Area 1 and Virtual Race Center Basel. Let's have some fun with the video and let's go! Voodoo.de So guys, I tried all of the mentioned headsets. And uh, I'm still here in San Francisco because many people ask me, what should I do now? What should I buy now? So I, I will show the video as fast as possible, of course, for you. <laughs> so I'm still not in my studio. I'm in the hotel in San Francisco <laughs> uh, from MetaConnect. And I will do the video like I will show you the advantages and disadvantages and the price of all the headsets I mentioned and who should buy those headsets. Beginning with the Quest 3S. The pro side of the Quest 3S is the very easy setup. So it's very, very easy for beginners. Everybody can set it up, really everybody, and in two minutes you are ready to go. I promise you it's very, very easy. The next thing is we have a really, really good store. Yeah, it's the best standalone store um, that you can have right now. A lot of cool games, a lot of stuff, really huge. Then the performance is very good. We have the Snapdragon XR2 Generation 2 processor and it's a really good performance. Um, the hand tracking works really good so there are many games that you can control with your hands only without the controllers and that's also working very good at the MetaQuest 3S. And also the mixed reality is nice. Mixed reality is a mixture of reality and virtual stuff. So for example, there's a game called Spatial Ops, a multiplayer shooter. You can see the other players with the, they, they have also the Quest 3 or Quest 3S and you can shoot them uh, in, in a partly mixed and partly real reality. <laughs> this is really good and that works great with the Quest 3S. And of course the price of 299 euro. This is insane for the 128 gigabyte version. It's just absolutely crazy price. Yeah, and um, the, you will never find this anywhere. This quality with this functionality for this price. This is insane, yeah. But there are also some disadvantages of the Quest 3S. For example, they have built in the so-called Trinel lenses. They have these rings and uh, there, there could be a problem in some scenes. For example, black background and white text. You see some shiny effects. But for beginners, to be honest, I think they will not even notice that because they don't even know that this is a problem. Yeah. <laughs> so. Uh, this is only relevant for people that already know VR. Other people perhaps don't even see that. The same with the resolution. The Quest 3S has a lower resolution than the Quest 3 and that results in a little bit, um, yeah, like some, you see some pixels if you really look, but even that is not such a huge problem for beginners. Another advantage, a disadvantage is the the um, small um, like 128 gigabyte space on the headset so that means you you will have to uninstall some apps sometimes but also this is not a huge problem because um, the the license of the game you bought is connected to your accounts uh, and also the save game so if you uninstall a game and install it later you will still have the game you will still have your save games yeah so this is just uh, not a big problem. And the price of uh, 399 euro for the 256 gigabyte is a little bit high. Yeah, I, so I would not re really recommend it because if you just spend a little bit more, you get the Quest 3. I think it's like 99 bucks more, you get the Quest 3. So I will not get the 256 gigabyte version of the headset, uh, take the 120. Uh, 8 gigabyte version of the headset because then you have a really good uh, price. <clears throat> so who should buy the Quest 3S? Definitely it's insane, very good for people that are very new to VR, that just want to experience this new technology. This is the absolute best thing you, you, you have to do. Yeah. So if you don't want to spend much money but you want 
to have a headset where what you can do you can do everything with it yeah everything uh, virtual reality mixed reality hand tracking uh, all the cool stuff watching movies play pc vr you can do everything with the quest 3s for 299 dollars and this is absolutely cool yeah so let's talk about the quest 3 yeah this is i would say i would say it's a pimped quest 3s yeah, so that means it's the same uh, very good setup, the same very good game store, the same very good performance, it has the same processor than the Quest 3S, the same good hand tracking, the same good mixed reality, but the difference is the lenses. The Quest 3 has so-called pancake lenses. They are very clear and they have a good vision without this shiny God ray effect. And also the resolution is higher, so the games look better. Yeah, the games look really better on the Quest 3, and also you have much more space. You have 512 gigabytes, so you don't have to uninstall um, stuff. Yeah, and the price for the 512 gigabyte version is like uh, $499, which is really really great. Yeah. Um, I think the only negative thing is perhaps the standard strap. This is, this is also the negative of the Quest 3S um, uh, with, the, with the head strap. The standard strap is not ultra comfortable, but I think most people won't even notice that if you are new. Uh, you can buy a separate uh, elite strap if you want to if you don't like it so this is also no problem in my review of the quest 3 that a month ago i mentioned that the microphone is bad but they updated that and now the microphone is also no problem so who should buy the quest 3 also if you it's a decision of your how big is your budget yeah so if you have more money uh, then go for the Quest 3 because it has better lenses, better graphics and um, more space. Yeah, So it's just a decision how, how much money you want to spend. They can do the same, Quest 3S and Quest 3 can do the absolute same, but it just looks better on Quest 3. So this is the only advantage and of course the more space. So the Pico 4 Ultra. Yeah, I tried it, I made a review, you, you will find everything in the description below. Um, the, the Pico Ultra also has a lot of advantages. For example, they have good lenses, they have also a very good setup, the performance is absolutely great as well, the mixed reality is good. And the thing is, the advantage of the Pico 4 Ultra is they have optional full body tracking. So you're, you will have uh, optional, I think it's like 89 euro or so, you have trackers on your feet and then your whole body is tracked. That's good for people that want to play social VR like VR chat. Um, but to be honest, the Pico 4 Ultra has a lot of disadvantages. For example, the store is much, much smaller than the Meta Horizon store. So we will not find as many games there, uh, which is a huge disadvantage because, I mean, when, when we buy a headset, we want to have a huge amount of games to play, right? And then the price. It's a 599 euro, so it's more expensive than the Quest 3. Yeah. Um, I would compare the Quest 3 to the Pico 4 Ultra because it has the same, like, pretty much the same display and, and lenses and so on. Um, and just the, the price is too high. When you compare it, the, the Quest 3 is 550 euro compared to 600 euro of the Pico 4 Ultra and the Pico 4 Ultra only has 256 gigabyte and uh, not so good store and so on. So this, I mean, yeah, let's be honest, Go for the Quest 3 then, yeah. Also, the facial interface, at least for me, is pretty bad for the um, uh, with the Quest uh, with the Pico 4 Ultra. But this is very individual. Perhaps the um, facial interface is good for you. You can also buy third-party stuff. The controllers are pretty heavy from the um, Pico 4 Ultra. This is also problematic. Yeah, um, I mean, the Quest 3 and Quest 3S controllers are pretty light and so on. And the hand tracking is problematic with the Pico 4 Ultra. It has some delay. It also is not so accurate. Yeah, this is also a problem. So who should buy the Pico 4 Ultra then? To be honest, um, the group that should buy the Pico 4 Ultra is very small. Yeah. So if you just want to experience VR and mixed reality and so on, um, then the decision is easy. Go for the Quest 3 or Quest 3S. Yeah. 
the only group that should buy the Pico 4 Ultra, in my opinion, is the people that really want to experience very good full body tracking. So people that love VR chat or any social uh, VR stuff where you have your full body in VR, then go for the Pico 4 Ultra because then you can buy the, um, the trackers, yeah? But everybody else should definitely go for a MetaQuest headset. That's my opinion. I mean, of course, when you think about um, the Quest, the Meta Quest, in the background there is Meta and Facebook, and with the Pico 4 Ultra there is ByteDance and TikTok in the background. So it's also a decision from your head, which company don't you like or which company you like, it's, it's your decision, but I will focus on the hardware and software. Yeah. Um, by the way, all of the headsets that I mentioned are PC VR compatible. So with all of them, you can connect them wireless or wired to a gaming PC. Yeah? So this is also a very good advantage. You can play all Steam VR games with all of the headsets, which is really good. So again, the Decision Quest 3S or Quest 3, they can do absolutely the same. Yeah, same games also in the future. Um, for example, the um, new Batman Arkham Shadow game is compatible with Quest 3S and Quest 3. Yeah, so even the game in the future is the same, Quest 3S and Quest 3. There will not be a game in the future this is, that is only compatible with Quest 3 and not Quest 3S because it has the same process and same performance. The only difference is the better lenses, the better resolution and more space to install games. So it's just dependent on your budget. The people that ask me, should I change from Quest 2 to Quest 3S? Um, if you ask me that, I would say yes, because I mean, the Quest 3S has the same display and the same lenses than the Quest 2, but still the performance is much better, so the games will definitely automatically look better because it's rendered at a higher resolution. So the, the, games, the same games on Quest 3S will look better than on Quest 2. It's, only, it's also the Quest 3S is also better for future because some games that are announced or I think most people that will be announced will not be compatible with Quest 2 anymore. So for example the upcoming um, Batman Arkham Shadow is not compatible with Quest 2 and only with Quest 3S and Quest 3. So this is also uh, something yeah and the next thing is if you are interested in mixed reality then also change to the Quest 3S because the mixed reality is like million times better than the Quest 2. The Quest 2 mixed reality is just black and white and 2D and the Quest 3S has like a color 3D pass through. There are really good mixed reality games. For example, here in uh, San Francisco, I tried um, Spatial Ops. This is a really nice game yeah, where you have mixed reality and uh, you see other people, uh, the real people, you see the real people mixed with virtual reality stuff. It's just insane. So if you're interested in that, change to Quest 3S. Yeah, so guys, I hope this helped. All of the tests that I made for those headsets you will find in the description and in the first pinned comment. Also, it's very important, all the links to the headsets you will find in the description and in the first pinned comment. And if you decide to go for a MetaQuest headset, the Quest 3S and the Quest 3, it's very important to go via my link because then you will get $30 um, credit for the Meta Horizon store to buy games. This is really good, but this only works if you go via my link. Very important. Yeah, so the $30 will be unlocked as soon as you activate the Quest 3 or Quest 3S with the account that you bought it. Yeah, so and now perhaps you already ordered a headset or you already have a headset and you ask yourself the question, which games should I play on this headset? I made a really good ultimative quest games 
guide that you will find in the info cards and also in the description first pin comment and I will show you the best meta quest games that you can play with quest 3 and quest 3s and mostly on quest 2 as well so make sure to check it out so guys I hope this helped I really hope this helped um, if you didn't already subscribed do it now hit the bell and like the video so you will not miss any future videos about virtual reality and mixed reality thank you for watching and see you next time in virtual and mixed reality see ya